Hi everybody, it's Ia Patsy here, and I'm going to be doing the love bite for Pisces for the month of mid-October through mid-November 2017. So, this top row here is going to be um, five Romance Angel Oracle cards, and this is going to be for you. On the bottom, I'm going to I've laid out another five uh, Romance Angel Oracle cards, and this is going to be for your person or a situation that it, that um, pertains to love for you, something that you're concerned about. <clears throat> and then I picked five, um, I got five of the Conscious Spirit Oracle cards uh, to see if there's any information uh, or affirmations that uh, the Conscious Spirit wants to share with us about your love life from October to November. And then at the end, we'll... Uh, see if there are any messages that we can get from the until today cards by Ian Levan Sam. okay and the names and information of the cards that i use in these readings is in the description thank you so much for watching sharing subscribing liking and uh let's get started so the first card in your reading to see this uh, morning <laughs> is finances and career Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, all right? But it came up reverse for you, so uh, maybe money's not an object. You know, money's not a problem for you. I said no concern. Let's see what your next card says. Oh, express yourself. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. But you got that in the reverse. So maybe it's telling you that you may need to hold back a little bit. Okay. In terms of your love life, you need to hold back a little. Um, maybe you should be a little more cautious. Hmm. I'm getting that... Because you have money, you need to be cautious about who you involve yourself with. And so maybe you can't be as open as you normally are or as you have been in the past. Or with this particular person, maybe. <clears throat> the next card that you got in this reading was engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Very nice. It was a uh, in reverse. So I think what it's saying is that you have to maybe you have to be a little more reserved with this person. Mm, maybe not engage with them as much as you would like or as you have been. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. The next card here is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive. Okay. So you have to put yourself first in this situation. So show some restraint. And the next card that you got here was calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations will help bring you together but you got that in reverse hmm i think you're being cautioned about something about this relationship pisces <coughs> All right, so let's see what the Romance Angel Oracle cards have to say about the person that you're interested in or some more information about this thing that's concerning you. First card. Very soon, clearly decide what it is you want so it comes to you now. Very soon. But you got it in the reverse. So maybe it's saying, take your time. Mm. 
you deserve love. You are lovable. It came in the reverse. Okay, well, maybe. Okay, so this is your, the other person. So, maybe this person doesn't, maybe this person does not deserve your love. Something going on here. Next card is trust. This situation is call, calling for you to have faith. But it's in the reverse. Oh, Pisces, this guy, this person may not be a, a nice person. This might not be somebody that you should continue to involve yourself with. Next card you got is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. I swear, when I first turned this over, it, I was like, maybe you need to hire a private investigator <laughs> so you can really find. Since money is no object, right? Money is no problem. Finances is not an issue in, in this situation. Well, what good is money if you can't use it to protect yourself? So, hey, invest in a little private eye business. Or I guess you could uh, go on YouTube and like this and save yourself some cash right or you can book a personal reading so anyway <laughs> the next card that you got in this reading was true love this is a romance of a lifetime and it was in the upright position hmm Very soon reverse. You deserve love reverse. Trust reverse. Getting to know each other and true love. Hmm. Well, maybe the person is interested in you, but you're the one that's putting up the brakes. And... Trust. Yeah, he is. Maybe he feels that you're not come being forthcoming with him. That you're not he or she rather. You're not engaging with them like you should, uh, as he would expect. He wants to get to know you because he thinks that you and him have something going on, but. You're being very standoffish, and it may be for a, a, a good reason, but uh, he feels, he or she feels that they want to get to know you better because they, they feel that this could be something promising for them or for you. All right. Uh, let's see what the conscious spirit cards have to say about this situation. Hmm. All right. The first card you got is the earth element. I gratefully accept the abundance the earth bestows on me. But it's in the reverse. I greatly accept the abundance that earth bestows on me. It's in reverse. You're uncomfortable with your money? Oh, are you suspicious that the only pe reason that people want to be with you is because you have money? Is that a problem, Pisces? So you have like ambivalent feelings about all that you have because you feel it it stands in a way of you it hinders you from really being able to know whether a person is really interested for the right reasons or not. 
Next we got meditation. Hmm. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. So this is in the reverse position. Okay, so this is what the card looks like in the straighter position. So pretty. But it is, yeah, you're not spending a, little, a lot of time um, thinking and praying and meditating. You're keeping a lot of things in. You're not expressing yourself. You're kind of closed off here this month, Pisces. That's not like you. Next card. Fire element. Hmm. I connect the fire within me. I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine. Yeah. You might need to start praying. You might need to start connecting with the divine. Because it seems like you're like losing touch with that. Or maybe this is something you, you need to initiate. I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine. Yeah, maybe that'll help you get clarity when you come across situations like this and you're not sure. Of course, if you uh, connect with your creator, the uh, ancestral um, spirits, your spirit guides, higher self, higher guides, angels, it'll help you become more. it'll help you become grounded and to help you get clarity and make decisions the next card that you got here is integration excellent all right so this talks about integrating your your um body body mind and spirit okay so you need to start doing some inner work on yourself in order to gain the tools so that you can trust your own judgment when it comes to people and be able to have your intuition will help you to discern who's there for just your money or who's there because they really want to get to know you. Mm, I guess problems come, you know, whether you're poor or you're rich, they're just Problems come, they're just different types of problems, right? More money, more problems. That's what they say, Biggie said. A nurturing heart mother. I am protective spirit and reach out to all life with love and compassion. Maybe you need to talk to your mother about this. <laughs> you know, maybe she can give you some advice about the situation. Or maybe uh, if your mother's transitioned if she's passed on already maybe you need to try to you know sit down and and, and uh, touch base with her you know you could pray to your mom you know um not well you talk to her You're not praying to her but you're talking to her all right and telling her what's going on and ask her for her help your ancestors igun are not going to step in to help you unless you ask They'll not going to impose themselves in a situation unless you've asked them for help. Once you do, then that's it. But if you're, if you haven't said, you know, that you want them to intervene or ask them to help you, they're not going to because you have free will. All right. And uh, they may protect you if they can from uh, physical harm. But they're not going to intervene unless you ask for their assistance in general. Okay? So let's see what the Alanya Van Zandt um, until today cards have to say about this situation for you. Um, Pisces. All right. Your general readings have been up for a minute, I think, or two. <laughs> but... I just, I'm up, and I said, well, let me do these love bites, see if I can get them out the way.
God can only do for me what God can do through me. God can only do for me what God can do through me. Until today, you may have been directing your own life and attempting to produce your own blessings. Just for the day, ask for direction. Open yourself up to guidance. Give up the things to have. Give up the need to have things go your way. Open yourself up to God's way. Not my will, but thy will be done. Right? Yeah. You need to, Pisces, it seems, and you need to kind of step up your relationship with your divine. Um, open yourself up to let go and let God. Ask for direction. Pray. Like I said, talk to your ancestors. Uh, whatever you're the supreme being, whatever you you uh, believe in. And if you're an atheist, well, God can only do for me what God can do through me. Well, if you don't believe that there's a God, hmm. Okay, until today you may have been directing your own life, attempting to produce your own blessings. Just for the day, ask for direction. Open this. Okay, so if you um, are a person which doesn't have any financial cares and you're kind of uh, entrepreneur, got you, you, you're good. So maybe you need to ask for help from other people. Um, talk to your coworkers. Talk to your friends. Talk to your employees. I mean within boundaries but maybe if you engage more with people in general you'll get a better handle on where people are coming from and you'll be able to sort out who's there for the right reason and who's not you know pick sense out of not wow out of nonsense i make spiritual wealth a priority until today, you may have sacrificed your peace of mind and spiritual balance to pursue material wealth. Just for today, examine whether your quest is a curse or a blessing. All right. So, this is telling you that you you ha you're, you have uh, spent too much uh, energy uh, on material. And protecting yourself from somebody coming in and trying to take something from you. Okay? And you don't trust people. But you're not giving people a chance to get through to you and get to know you. So you've kind of closed yourself off. And you need to start working on your spiritual wealth. Your money wealth is, is, is good. and uh, But that's not all that there is to life. Until today, you may have sacrificed your peace of mind and spiritual balance to pursue material wealth. Yeah, so you can't have peace of mind if you're worried that everybody is trying to game you for your for your money. You don't know if they like you because they like you, if they find you attractive, or if they find you. Your, even if they don't know how much you have, they know that you have. So, yeah. You need to refocus, and maybe when you do that, you'll draw people towards you that you don't have to question. Okay, you don't, you'll know that their intentions are pure. So, Pisces, um, this was just a little love bite. If this resonated with you, um, that's great. Please like, share, um, and subscribe to the channel. And if you want more information about this uh, love thing, you can shoot me an email. And uh, I'm having a, a really good special on these love bites because they're short and, and uh, quick and they're kind of fun. So if you're interested in a love bite, send me an email and uh, I'll get back to you. And uh, my email is pbtarot7, P-E-P-B-T-A-R-O-T, -E -E the number seven, at gmail.com. Okay, you can also follow me on Facebook. Our stories continue at 
PB Tarot 7. So, um, thanks very much. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Let me know um, how, how it's going. Don't forget, Pisces, you know, try to change your focus a little bit and so that you can open yourself up to, to people, but don't do it before. This is root chakra. I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. But you have to tap into that and know how to use your intuition and your gifts of discernment. You have everything that you need uh, that was given to you by God or the Creator or biology. But you have you're able to you 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 have the tools. You just they're not sharpened because you've been you haven't really been engaging with people on a human uh, love relationship type level. You may have been sexual with people, but mm, not love. Okay? So, all right, I'll see you in November with the regular general readings for the month of November. In the meantime, everybody have a good holiday, and I'll be talking to you soon. And Alafia, Ashe, peace.